Our story begins in Borromeo High. It's just like any other high school where there are these so-called cliques like the It Girls, the Jocks, the Brainiacs, even the Weirdos, those who don't even care about life, and those who are just trying to figure out themselves. Yes, it's just like any other high school. Thanks, Dad. Um, I better get going. Okay, son. Bring home your girlfriend, all right? I'd love to meet her. Uh, oh. Um, yeah. Uh, sure, Dad. Bye, I gotta go. Hello, Ma? Yes, Ma. I won't forget to pick Katie after school. Okay, Ma. Yes, I won't go to Dad. Okay, I need to go. Ooh, that's strong. Well, I got it from my friend. Who knows a friend? Who knows a friend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. Someone's coming. What is that smell? Excuse me, Miss Jones. Come with me. Oh. I'm telling you, I didn't do it this time. What do you mean this time? It's jokes. Crap, I didn't make it. Oh, my dad's gonna kill me. It seems like we're late again, Mr. Evans. Seven times this month. Come with me. Oh. Why are you? Don't ask. Shh. Quiet. Hey lads, I'm Miss Shannon. I'm going to be your instructor. Since you five keep on doing such acts, you will be in detention for one month. What? My dad for a sec. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, yeah. 
Well, students, there's an emergency. Be back in a sec. No one goes outside and no talking, okay? Why don't we skip the tension and live with our lives? Nope. I'm staying here. I'm getting out of this problem. Um, how about we get to know ourselves? I mean, we've been here for like two weeks already? Oh, shut up, newbie. What are you, here to make friends? Ugh, I wanna puke. I mean, come on, guys. We never talk. How about we say our deepest and darkest secrets? Secrets? No, 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 no. Let's not, okay? I don't know. I guess I'm down, Michelle. Oh, it's Michaela. How about we make a deal? What happens here in detention stays in detention. So, I'll start. Um, you know how much I want to get along with you guys. Well, I don't have that much friends. Because me and my parents always move to another place. Well, it's really a struggle to get really close to one another and then suddenly, in a blink of an eye, you don't see them anymore. Okay, I don't want to cry, so who's next? You know how much I always try to do my best in everything? I don't want my kids to have the life that I'm having right now and I don't want them to have a broken family like me and you know I don't want them to pick sides and it's really hard. Well, I'm a drug addict but I'm trying my best now and thanks to detention I'm sober. Well, I don't really want to talk about it. Well, I'm gay. I've been since I was a little... Girl? Lauren! I'm kidding! Jeez! Yeah, no one knows. Not my friends, my family, especially my dad. He doesn't really accept these kinds of people because for him, it's a failure to mankind. So, who's next? I don't want to talk about it. Why don't we all have a lunch of the day, so we'll have a flick. You know what? I'm up for it. And ever since that day in detention, they bonded like crazy. They all had each other's back. Basically, they became the best of friends. Okay, so what's up? The sky, though. Oh my god, you guys are so hilarious. Um, we're good. I mean, should have been a few weeks ago. It was quite fun. We got to know ourselves, hang out. We even told each other secrets like Lauren is. Michaela! We literally just met her! It's fine. I mean, yeah, I also struggle in life. I just recently broke up with my boyfriend. I just found out he was cheating on me with my best friend. So yeah, I'm trying to be okay. After all, life goes on. She's just like that, guys. And just like that, five became six. Everything went well, until one day, it all shattered into pieces. Hey, pretty lady. I'm sorry, are you talking to me? Haven't you heard? I guess you weren't straight after all. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know Dustin, should we tell him? I mean, her. <laughs> hey, 
Hey, mommy. I, I beg your pardon? No wonder you stop hanging out with Diane because you're too busy with your baby to be. What the hell did you just do? Huh? Who did it? What's the matter with you? It's all over the freaking campus. Did you know that it wasn't your secret to tell to begin with? Just because your life is already messed up doesn't mean you have the right to mess up mine. Wait, wait, wait. Don't blame if you don't have the courage to show your true self. Even to your father. What did you just say? Guys, chill out. Why are you blaming him? Who did it, huh? Don't you know I was handling the problem well? How could you? What did they ever do to you guys? Daniel, what's the meaning of this? Just stop it, okay? I just want to know why. Hey guys, I've heard the news. It's all over the campus. Isn't it obvious? person who just joined our clique, gained our trust, and even made us tell our secrets just to mess up with our lives. I would never do that! You gotta believe me! The audacity. Why don't you just stop meddling with our lives and go back to where the hell you came from? I can't believe you would do that. Well, it looks like your detention days has come to an end. You're all dismissed. Thank you and goodbye, students. Are you guys seriously blaming me? I'm innocent for crying out loud. Why? So you can come up with another story to tell? No, I just need to call my mom to pick me up. Here. I wanna know why? All my life I've been bullied. I've been bullied for being a friendless loser. Because I kept on moving from one place to another. No one would accept me for who I am. That's why I figured out how dumb those idiots were to share their secrets to a stranger. I I can't believe you! But why pin it on me? I never did anything to you! Oh dear Roxy, you are so perfect. Since you just arrived in our so-called clique, you were so perfect to be blamed. But when we confess our secrets, I placed my phone behind your bag so it would look like you were the one who recorded it. Then I made a fake account so I won't be blamed. For once, I just wanted to be the one who's not hurting. I gotta tell the others! they would believe? Me or you? Well, you're not the only one who knows how to record things. You know what? I know you're hurt, but it's never too late to change things, to make everything better. You gotta trust me. Well, I just don't know what to say. You guys, I don't know if it's a quick ending, but I promise you make it quick. Oh my god. Danielle just texted me. She's ending her life. We gotta go. What? Come on, Dad. 
Where could she be? God. Wait. I think I know where she is. Come on. Wait, I think she's here. After envisioning the huge effect when she hit that button, she then decided to delete the video. Michaela realized that day she wasn't alone anymore. Hello guys! Um, you know what? If I were you... Every day, we tend to face problems. However, these problems wouldn't happen to us if we can't overcome them. After everything that went through, their lives began to get better. Lauren finally lets go of her old habits. So I fell down, slipped right out of my grip. Cameron finally confessed to his dad on what he really is inside. I can't seem to fix it. Daniel raised a perfect and a healthy child. But only you would really understand. Blake got a chance to talk to his mother about the struggles of a broken family. For being a little and Michaela? Michaela finally got the friendship that she deserved. Sunflower, I think your love would be too much. 